Why did why did you uh, drop out of college? I fucking college sucks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that college specific. Well, also I went to college to follow my girlfriend at the time, which was okay. a bad idea. Um, I went to Northern Arizona University, which is a fuck that college. Why? Um, well, it's it's definitely one of those. I think all colleges are pretty money sink, but that one's a real money sink. It's like the reason I got in was because they have a ninety three percent acceptance rate. They just want your money. They don't give a like. They don't care about anything else. Um, the computer science program was okay if you could get higher up in it, but they wouldn't even let me like um, test out of the intro class. And I didn't mean to be like an asshole. Like you should let me skip a. Whole class I was like can you let me take the finals and all the tests uh because I was already working as a programmer yeah. so I was like why am I working as a programmer to pay to go to school to learn how to work as a programmer that's stupid that doesn't make any sense yeah do they not check that like you went through like a program or anything or is it just like oh, I learned on YouTube like and- if you're doing an engineering job yeah um well like they they do care a lot less now because they l- know that you can just learn it from a computer mm. I mean it's like Computer stuff, I mean, it kind of makes sense. You can learn it on a computer. Like, you wouldn't want your doctor to be a YouTube taught doctor, but, <laughs> right? You want them to go to yeah. medical school, but, yeah. like, there's Unless a lot of- Unless they've seen your surgery robot video. <laughs> <you know? laughs> there's, like, a lot of people yeah. at, like, SpaceX and Tesla, especially, like, those are some of the, like, more progressive companies. Like, yeah. the fan companies don't give a shit if you've been to college for- programming they just want to know what you can do and like see your portfolio that's part of why they have like such rigorous um interview processes Mm -hmm. like you have to know how to do a bunch of bullshit on a whiteboard and that's annoying but Mm -hmm. like it doesn't matter how you know how to do it you just know how to do it that's interesting so did you actually end up getting a job in in that after high school yeah yeah i worked for the the government of hawaii for a bit little bits at the college um on my island got it yeah I know when you're working for the government, I would imagine there's got to be some like mischievous stuff you were doing on the side or were you just like dude, it going was, in? Like, were you not changing just on the back end? And, like, not a lot. I didn't have a lot of access. Pranks or no? We, had, we okay. had our own server. Okay. So we didn't have access to any other place, um, unfortunately. I feel like you would send out like mass emails or just like, you know, <laughs> these memes or like something. Some memes. You yeah. would do something in there. Okay. But you kept it. Pretty, pretty, you know. I kept it pretty professional. Okay, yeah. you did. Pretty, kept it good, yeah. Okay. And, like, I was I was such, a, like, a serious nerd in that job, too. I was, like, trying to do it really well. Okay. Um, yeah. I remember, like, getting mad at the other people there who were, like, uh, who were going to college for it, mm. but working on the project as well. So it was, yeah, that was an interesting time. But you, why did you quit your job? I know you hated it, but wasn't it, like, good money? I didn't making? quit it for a while. Yeah. Um. I still do random stuff. I try to do random stuff on the side. Um, it wasn't that good of money because it's like the government of Hawaii yeah. and Maui especially is like does not invest in their IT infrastructure mm. a lot. So yeah, they were asking a lot. And also they scammed the shit out of me. My boss definitely like underpaid me because I didn't have the degree. But I was uh, doing more than the people who did have the degree. That's crazy. Yeah. How did you find annoying. out about that? Um Someone told me. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, that's not right. Also, at some point I worked like, that was my first hundred hour work week was on that project. And she, and they did not pay, like, they couldn't pay over a certain amount of overtime. So it would just bleed into the next month or next week hmm. and not count as overtime. It's like, fuck. can you say how much you were making at that job? I actually don't remember. Oh, oh, wait. Yeah. It was $15 an hour, $12 an oh, hour. Wow. Yeah. Um, and with, with time and a half for overtime, which was good out of high school because I, I didn't have any scholarships mm-hmm. so I worked I, I had to work like I had to max out overtime to pay for college that summer and going into college too because I didn't have scholarships because my grades were bad yeah yeah so yeah and then you went to college and then you dropped out of college yeah yeah and when you dropped out were you continuing to do this work remotely yeah I was still doing remote uh, after and then doing YouTube out. and then all of this you know after some yeah. time YouTube income started taking over that job Jeez, Jack we could just ask you <laughs> I'm just I'm just curious because I think I know that I think I know that you know the, the pipeline story. Yeah, know yeah. it, Jack you know the high school that YouTube pipeline <laughs> yeah you know that yeah 